is only one way to end an episode like this, ladies and gentlemen. I was worried that this part of the show wouldn't even possibly be here tonight, coming off of two operations. And yet here he is, a man of the people, here for you, as he has been. He has the record for all-time appearances on the show and interviews on the show. The only living member of the Kill Tony Hall of Fame. You know him, you love him. I could go on and on. The Tijuana Tarantula, the San Francisco Buttermilk Biscuit, the St. Louis Suffocator, the Denver Dracula, the New Orleans Saint, the Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla. This is the Big Red Machine. This is the great and powerful Lights Out, William Montgomery. Hey, everybody. Like only he can. Coming in at the end. Every week, showing everybody how it's done in his own defined style. The wild stylings of William Montgomery. Riddle me this, Tony. <laughs> What's black and white and red all over? A bloody race war. Riddle me this, Tony. Who can count to seven unless he's talking about how many grandchildren he has? Joe Biden. An Alaskan Airlines pilot high on mushrooms tried to shut off the plane's engines mid-flight a couple weeks ago before being subdued, proving that mushrooms are totally safe because even if you try to crash a plane, you can't crash a plane. <laughs> Red Band looks like the kind of guy who bet who bets parlays on esports. Hey, Red Band, what's the over under on the number of Elder Scrolls I can stuff up my asshole? <laughs> Two. Okay. So I'm very excited to be here tonight after having cancer removed from my face twice last week. But I think y'all would like to know the doctor said I may be the best pound for pound cancer fighter he's ever seen. <laughs> The good news, he said that there's a cure. The bad news, it's cocaine. So I'm back, baby! Yeah. Who's the least scary villain in all of Gotham City? Catwoman. Great Scott, Batman. How will you ever manage? Catwoman, that's not a villain. That's a hoarder. What's next? Plant mom? Webster's Dictionary just added the word girl boss. Just know this, ladies, if I ever call you a girl boss, I respect you just as much as a normal boss. <laughs> but seriously, if you're called girl boss, you're probably called raging bitch by everyone else in your life. Donald Trump's sister, Marianne, Marianne, is dead at 86. In a surprising twist, she had to help Donald get into college. In an unsurprising twist, she was pumped for Aphex Twin, getting nominated for a 24 Grammy Award! She loved Aphex Twin. He's playing at her funeral Friday in Manhattan. Riddle me this, Tony. Why is Red Band's mom's pussy so big? She's a whore. I just found out that Barry Manilow came out as gay. Did y'all know this? I'm so pissed because I'm going to have to throw away all of my shirtless ba Barry Manilow posters into the trash. <laughs> okay, I stumbled on that one a little bit. <laughs> I saw... I had cancer ripped out of my face a couple days ago. I'm not doing good right now. But I did, I saw a condom commercial last night. That industry must be in shambles. Zoomers don't have sex. Straight people realized you can't get AIDS if you're straight. Gays are on prep. You know condom companies about to be saying, we'll make your dick bigger, promise. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, they're gonna start saying, ladies, if he doesn't use a Trojan, he's a rapist. <laughs> Funny how some of the same people posting about climate change also sharing horoscope memes. Climate change is real, it's science. Also, I'm Sagittarius, so you know I be judging real quick this month. 
<laughs> okay, that's my time. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. Okay, that's my time. Okay, that's my time. Yeah! Wow. A minute, 40 seconds of thunder and lightning from the man who has done it the most all time, the great the powerful William Montgomery, fresh off of five sold-out shows in San Diego. Remember, Tony, you're the, one of the top earners on Cameo. Yes, William. Tony, the penguin is hurt. The penguin is hurt? The penguin is hurt. <laughs> the penguin is hurt? The penguin is very injured right now, Tony. It's almost Halloween. I'm worried about the penguin. <laughs> oh, what, what happened with the penguin? We don't really know what happened. He and Catwoman got in a fight. Is that some CIA activation shit or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I can't yell as much, so I've started actually whispering some oh. of the punchlines. Oh, wow. It seems like the crowd is in a ruckus about this. This is like Mike Tyson doing yeah, I'm... karate or something like that. I, uh, okay, I'll prove my point. It's actually much better, I think. Okay, here he is, trying something new. Give I, uh, him a chance. This is like Francis Naganu boxing. You might be surprised. Here we go. I like it when my mom goes out of town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. See, it's actually, Whoa. Much, it's actually much better. Wow. wow. Okay. Paul Walker, more like Paul Crasher. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I like it. I heard the reason Paul Walker died was because the director forgot to say cut. Oh my yeah. goodness gracious. See, it's actually much better. Yeah, luckily it's been uh, working out. Wow, that's really, really interesting. Cool. So no more yelling. You get no to... more yelling, I'm done. I'm How's your grandfather? Good. Uh, my dead grandfather that we covered last week. Why would you fucking bring that up, dumbass? <laughs> fucking almost Halloween, you piece of fucking shit. This actually, Tony, is uh -huh. a very exciting episode. I, I literally have a, a brand new actual sponsorship. I'm super excited to tell y'all. I think I'd mentioned on the show before that I don't wipe my butthole anymore. I started doing this method where... I get in the, I take a big shit, I get in the shower, doo-doo gets all clogged up in the fucking drains, there's hair down in the drains. He famously does not wipe his ass. This is a thing that his parents have talked about. He literally has to get into the entire shower and wipe his hand back and forth. I kind of like sticking my fingers in my asshole. I think you. that that's, is what everybody would assume. That's part of that. That yeah. is absolutely true. So tell us more. What is this sponsorship? Is this so real? basically, yes. My new sponsorship is Dude Wipes, okay? I can now wipe my butthole in the shower. I'm wiping... I use the dude wipes in the shower. They uh, dissolve in the shower, though. They're safe the for your drinks. <laughs> I can't even fucking understand your stupid well, ass. You you God. We got it. We got it. So fucking idiot. So I see that there's. What are you? What? Are, what are all these? Boxes? So basically, I'm very too excited to announce. I'm the newest fucking spokesperson for dude wipes. Wow. Who the yeah! fuck wants some dude wipes? Oh my goodness. The place is in chaos. Who wants to fucking do it? Get your hands in the air! He is asking that everybody... Whoa, really? <laughs> Maybe put a little arc into it, will you? There you go. Dude wipes! Okay. Dude wipes! There you go. There's dude wipes coming. Put your hands in front of your face. The penguin is injured! You get a dude wipe. You, you get a dude, dude wipe! wipe. Wow, this is unbelievable. You get some dude wife! Dude wife! You get some Oh my. God, William, Whoa. put a little. Skinny, put a little. Dumbass. William, put a little you arc. So William, <laughs> William, a little more arc. There you go. There you go, a little arc under it. Talking to happy people. We have a Yoni, are you getting this? Oh, Are you getting... Oh, my God. <laughs> William! There you go. Dude, we have 20 boxes to go through. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. 
Congratulations. You know, of all the sponsorships that you've said that you've had before, this one actually seems real. It's a very real win. Get your dude wipes. I'm wiping my asshole now. I'm proud of it. I used to be embarrassed about wiping my fucking asshole, but now I'm not embarrassed anymore because it's not wipes for like a pussy or something. It's for dudes' buttholes. I I'm, swear to God, I'm not putting some fucking woman pussy fucking thing near my butthole. It's only it's only dude wipes. So. Yeah. I think everybody will be happy to know uh, Tony and I went to a Russian bathhouse in we San Francisco on Saturday morning, and we saw Arcanese. one another's penises for the first time. We so did. Like, we did. It's the only thing about San Francisco that it's amazing right now, because that place is literally a fucking... Uh, I mean, it's like a hellscape right now. I mean, there were people doing meth, shooting up stuff, drinking stuff. I mean, so I'm many people in wheelchairs, an obnoxious amount fucking. of homeless people in wheelchairs. It was like there was a wheelchair basketball game going on, but there was no basketball. Just people going in the streets and back and forward. And it was fucking crazy. I don't know what's going on there, but nobody's walking anymore. More human shit on a sidewalk than I've seen in three years in a weekend. Uh, yeah, they don't even... Remember when they, they used to go to, like, alleyways and stuff? They used to have some fucking pride. Now they literally... They just, they just stand up out of the wheelchair, straight up, and then next to the wheelchair, they take a shit, and then they get back in the wheelchair, and they fucking roll away from the scene of the crime. It's kind of like Red Band's mom's house. There's oh, just shit. shit. I mean, she's getting older. Y'all know that bitch be old these days. And I mean, she is shitting fucking everywhere in that motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> look at the wheels Yo, turning over here. <laughs> so what was Tony's dick uh, like? Like, what would you review it? Yeah, like, talk like, about my dick a little we bit. We put our penises beside each other. We had to get to the bottom of whose penis is bigger. Tony's penis was bigger than mine by, I don't know, four or five inches. It was... <laughs> I mean, he had this huge penis down there. I was honestly, I was blushing when I saw it. When we go and, inside and that was, of the... And by the way, that was after I got out of the cold plunge. Yeah, I was shocked. I mean, that... Oh, man. We did not have a dick size competition in the bathhouse, but we actually did have a pee uh, time length competition in the In-N-Out bathroom, and I was pretty sure that I was going to win, but... My giant pee hole uh, cost me a real problem on this one because I, yeah, I was just pissing like a horse. And in the stall next to me, I just hear this little. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. That's how I pee, bitch. And I peed for literally like three fucking minutes. It was crazy. Your pee hole, I mean, so absolutely small. tiny. There's just no way to describe it other than a, 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 it is a God's sense of humor. Yeah, it's really small. Also, who uh, has a small TT hole? Red Band's mom. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hard yeah, I said TT hole, bitch. Wow. Her hers isn't that small because of cancer, though. Whoa. Yeah, I have skin cancer. Why would you bring that up, dumbass? I have to go under the fucking knife in two weeks. Wow, you have to go under the knife. Red Band's going under the fork. Because <laughs> he likes food. <laughs> and his mom's under the table because her bitch ass is drunk all the time. There's shit everywhere. She's peeing all over the fucking place. She's drunk under tables. She's the one who gave me herpes, by the way. Tony asked me, we did look at each other's penises. I have herpes on my penis right now. And he's like, where'd you get that? I was like, you know, Red Band's mom, bitch. <laughs> this is all true, William. Oh, my. Oh, right. uh, you know, oh it's it, all you know, true. Stop you know, talking in, about it. In the 1990s, when mom's jokes came out, uh, my mom told me, like, don't worry about it, son. I know all the people in the playground are talking about me being a whore with a small pee hole and all this shit. And, and I, it doesn't bother me anymore, William. So, you, you were at a playground at one point? I mean, was yeah, it the McDonald's <laughs> playground? <laughs> it was the McDonald's playground. I got stuck in one of the tubes. <laughs> 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 There you go, a little yeah. self-deprecation from Red Band. Look at that. Spun it around on himself. Wow. You were in a tube eating a little Big Mac. <laughs> All right. 
Incredible weekend in the theaters, mixing in new material. Everybody was amazed. Very, very exciting stuff. It was wonderful. Felt great. It's been a real, a real pleasure. Okay. <laughs> kind of sounded like a lie, but I know you mean it. It's uh, been a real pleasure, Tony. Yeah, get ready, dumbass. <laughs> Fuck. I love going out with your ass, don't I? It's been a ton of fun, man! You know it's been a ton of fun! And we did look at each other's penises at the fucking thing. And my balls, too. You didn't mention my balls at all. I actually it, didn't see his balls. They're very small. I, and I, I mean, it's oh, a big... I'm kidding! You son of a bitch. <laughs> William Montgomery. Hell yeah. Is that true? They got nominated for a Grammy? He, yes, Aphex Twin is nominated for his second ever Grammy. I'm super pumped. He and I, actually, Tony, yeah. since I've been talking about him a lot, we're actually in communication now. We've gotten to be buddies. Aphex Twin and I have gotten to be buddies. So, yeah, he's, he's taking me to the Grammys. I'm super pumped. I'm gonna be You're at the 2024 Grammys to... with Aphex Twin. Wow, this is huge. It's insane, You're yeah. Gonna walk the red carpet with Aphex Twin. I am. He he loves the jokes I tell about him. We've gotten to be really good friends over the past six months, I would say. Not a lot of people know that, but yeah, Aphex Twin and I are very dear friends now, so pretty pumped about all that. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Fresh off of a multi-million dollar deal with Dude Wipes. How's that going? It's very exciting. My life has changed. I installed a uh, escalator at my house. So things are looking up. I was getting tired of taking the stairs. They asked if I, are you sure not an elevator? And I said, no, I want an escalator. They're saying, they're telling me it's $250,000. I'm saying, I don't give a fuck. I'm not taking the stairs. I'm scared of elevators, install an escalator. So I have an escalator installed in my house, Tony. So I want to thank you for that. Absolutely incredible. I, I go under the knife tomorrow. I have surgery tomorrow. They have Explain the, to us more about what you're doing under the knife. Who's even laughing at that? It's very true. It's very, I'm very scared. Yeah, they're cutting off more skin cancer off of my face. So I have to go under the knife tomorrow. They're saying it's a 50-50 shot of surviving the treatment tomorrow. So if this is it, Tony, I've had a wonderful time. I'm excited. Steve-O... Uh, Miss Pellucci, Lala Pellucci, it's so nice. You've been here as well. It's probably my last. Uh, I love your stuff, Miss Lala Pellucci, but uh, it's nice y'all can be here, share the stage with me on potentially my last night ever on Kill Tony. It's because of my blood type. If something happens and I lose blood, they don't have any of that blood type here in Austin. So it is going to be the end of the line for me, Tony. What is the blood type that you are? It's like a A, it's like a AC. HIV. Whoa, HIV Red HIV. Band says, what are your thoughts about HIV. Red Band? Well, what my thoughts are about Red Band is I texted you something at 1.30 today, you fucking idiot, and you never responded. You always respond to my text messages, Red Band. I was legitimately pissed. How much whiskey is in that, dude? Your drinking is out of control these days. You have to fucking stop. Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did you text him and ask him? Yeah. Huh? yeah, that's what a great you, oh. question. What did you text him? <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing. Uh, what what did, I te actually, what I texted him, it's kind of, I was... You're going to die. Ooh, this just, is a good... Uh, uh, she, say it. She, yeah. Cameron, stay in your lane. Cameron, <laughs> please stay in your lane. What is your name? Cameron Lollapalucci, what is your name? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, that's it. William, what are you doing? I don't know. I mean, she's saying so. I'm going under the fucking knife tomorrow, bitch. I don't, I don't need this weird. It doesn't matter. It's none of your concern what I texted oh. Red Band. Whoa. I want to know, William. Yeah, it's none of my kids. It's none of... William, I, I want to know. Stop looking at Adrian Iapalucci like that. Look at me. Look at me. Look up here. William. Yeah. William. Sometimes William misbehaves with the guests. Is he actually mad? This is, is he actually no, mad? No, no. This is a... <laughs> That's the funniest thing you said all night, bitch! Oh my god, William. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> William, stop it. William, stop. No. <laughs> He's like a pit bull. He's normally very well behaved, very good. I can die tomorrow, no. bitch! I no. <laughs> 
I have the wrong blood type! This is one of the rare times that I forgot to warn the new guest about William Montgomery. This is, this is normally... I just installed an escalator in my apartment, man! A little fun fact that I never talk about is I always give every guest a 30-second speech. Remember, you guys remember back there when I go, yeah. there's one thing I'm forgetting, I can't fucking remember what it is. <laughs> it, it's always, we never interrupt the 60 seconds. If you, if you look at me and you seem like you have something, I'll set you up. Um, I ask the questions, don't feel like you need to ask the questions. And the one thing I forgot is, William's fucking crazy. <laughs> And I literally forgot that tonight. I'm sorry, Adrian, I take that. No, that's... He's nuts. It's he... totally okay. He's going to die. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to remember this scene tomorrow as I'm dying. Just everybody laughing at the fucking... What a nightmare I'm in right now. Oh, my God. Come on, you really think your heart's gonna stop They're tomorrow? giving me a 50-50 shot. You think your heart's gonna stop tomorrow? I don't think my heart's ever gonna stop tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we hear that's the uh, Grim Reaper has arrived. Grim Reaper, right? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'll be in Rosemont, Illinois, uh, middle of December, so. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, she says. What did you say? I said, She's... maybe, you, you might die. <laughs> there is nothing funnier to end a chaotic fucking interview than, by the way, I'm gonna be at the, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be at the Zanies by the Chicago airport. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the Rose, the Rosemont Zanies. <laughs> nothing, close to nothing. <laughs> close to nothing. <laughs> oh, well, I'll be there. Yeah, laugh it up. That's where I'm going to be. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Trust me, I didn't want to go, but they're making it. <laughs> <laughs> what, are the, what are the dates that you're at the uh, Rosemont Zanies? I think 16th and 15th, 16th. Life is too fucking short. I'm gonna start getting nice fucking sweaters. I was on my death's bed. Tony, I literally saw the light on Tuesday and Thursday. So did they put you out for these? Yeah, no, Tony, when I said I saw the light earlier, my heart literally stopped. Redheaded people need more anesthesia. They pump me with too much anesthesia. I do remember hearing doctors kind of yelling off to the side, but yeah, no, I was dead. I was clinically dead for a couple of minutes, Tony. It was really bad. You should have seen how big the hole they cut out of my face. I mean, Tony, it was brutal. I was on Advil, liquid gels, the whole fucking... <laughs> I love Advil liquid gels now. Oh, you do? Yeah, no, they really held my face. I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk. I was eating SpaghettiOs out the frame. I could not stop eating SpaghettiOs. You were eating and... them out the frame? Yeah, out the frame. I just fucking, I'd pop one can open. I'd be done. I'd be like, oh, I'm sick of this shit. I fucking died for a couple minutes. Nothing is guaranteed. I'd pop open another can fucking eating those motherfuckers out the frame, Tony. I mean, one I... after the other. The look of shock on this poor girl's face. <laughs> She looked to her left and her right when you were so blatantly looking directly at her. Yeah, she's been throwing me off all fucking night. Right when I came out here, I couldn't put my finger on what the problem was, but I knew there was a problem right there. Oh, my goodness. This is incredible. She seems like she's a fan of yours, William. You're being ruthless. No, I don't think so. Right off the bat, right when I fucking... I was getting weird fucking... What's in your purse, bitch? I mean, why are you fucking oh holding it like this? I had skin cancer, Rabu! She has a gun! <laughs> That would be kind of funny if that really was a good <laughs> Wow. Amazing. The presence of the great William Montgomery. The, again, the sweater to the beard and hair. I mean, you are a stunning specimen tonight, I must say. I think that skin cancer did you pretty good. 
Thank you. And I think I'm going to have a really cool scar. I'll be able to have a battle scar after this. So excited about that. Things are looking up. I'm hopefully, I think I'll see y'all uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving should be nice. Yes. Thank you. We're going to give thanks together indeed. How's the little doggy? Little doggy's Williams. doing good, y'all. If y'all yeah. are wondering, Gator's wonderful. We've been kissing each other. We've been hugging each other. We've been giving each other butterfly kisses. Ooh. You know, it, yeah, on a small dog, do the math on that one, Tony. <laughs> wow. That sounds out the frame. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that up? I've never heard that before. I've been eating SpaghettiOs out the frame. Yes, I made that up. Word of God, it was last night, this very vivid dream. But on Thanksgiving, us three are together and we're all having a really good time. And then just at one point, I Red Band just grabs his heart and he falls over. <laughs> wow. Uh, I swear to God, I didn't even want to bring that up. Wow. Ever since I was put under, I've been getting these very vivid dreams. They're all about you, Red Band. I mean, yes. one is you falling down some stairs. That's and... crazy. I think you were having my, That's those are my actual dreams. <laughs> I dream of that when I'm awake and not seeing a light at all. I dream of him one day grabbing in between those sweet oh, tits. Guys. A bunch of dreams of Red Band dying again at Thanksgiving. There's one at Christmas where he actually gets shot by somebody when he's leaving uh, some venue. So. But yeah, but then happy ones, me and Red Band's mom getting married. I've been having a lot of those. Um, what did you do with Red Band's mom? Describe woo. to everybody. Describe Woo! to the people. Hold on. Woo! Let it happen. She just spreads those things wide open. Wait. No, stop distracting him with buttons. Don't. Put a fucking cucumber in her butt hole. Put fucking... Okay. Uh, <laughs> fucking lemon lime starburst in her pussy. And how does sex with Red Band's mom end? I'm done with your ass, bitch! <laughs> I'm kidding, right? <laughs> Wait, you're kidding? No, I ain't ever kidding about <laughs> fucking your mom, right? We did it again. Uh, William, anything uh, you want to promote or plug or anything? You're one of the biggest people on yeah, Cameo middle, uh, right now. Yeah, please. I can help divorce people. I can help marry people. I can help get long lost loves together. It's like a Craigslist misconnections. I basically turned it like a Craigslist. Where the fuck are y'all going? <laughs> Oh, they're sneaking out. But yeah, just middle, Rosemont, Chicago in the middle of December. William, you're absolutely unbelievable. The way that you come in every single week and absolutely drop the hammer, it's insane. I just love you. Everybody loves you. You're love you too. It's been fun. William Thank Montgomery. You. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes, the living legend. How about one more time for the legend, William Montgomery, everybody. How loud we'll can this sing. place get for the legend, William? Thank you. Hey, everybody. You got anything coming up you want to promote or anything? Just give me on that Cameo app, please. Here you go. Get the Cameos. There goes William Montgomery, everybody. William! Lights out Montgomery has done it again. An absolute fucking shooting star. Tour dates available everywhere. The cameos blowing up. Dude wipes and doors. 